Hi, this is Chris from eMedia Design and Development at TUT and in this video I'm going to show you an easy way to do basic edits on your videos. In Windows 10, if your Windows is up to date and make sure that it is up to date, the video editor is built in. So you can access that by either going to start and searching for video editor or you can even search for photos it is the same application you, if you see the video editor here you can add shortcuts to your start or your taskbar let's open the video editor and see what we've got you will notice up here these are videos that have been edited previously but i want to show you how to do a new video so over here on the right top hand side you will see new video click on that and select a new video project this will open a screen where you've got your project library and your final view screen as well as your storyboard the first thing that we need to do is give your video a name let's call this topic one and click OK now we would like to add all the items that I want in my videos I can add media such as videos that I've shot on my cell phone or screen captures that I recorded from my screen or even photos. I'm going to add from this PC some material that I placed together in one folder just to make it easier for myself. Um, I have created a under C drive. I have created a folder called video demo and this is where all the material is that I will need. So I'm going to select the video, the images that I want to use, click open, and that will now be added to my project library. Now I've got all this media that I can move into my storyboard. I want to start off with a title and over here I am using the first slide in the official TUT slideshow and I want to add text over that so I go here to text while well, I've got that selected I go to text click on text and here I have got different options I type in the title of my video I type in my title and I can now go and select different options for how it is to be displayed. I'm going to go with simple and I wanted to under layout here I wanted to display in the center of my page and there I have got my title. I click done and if I go to my timeline now and I play it you will see my slide with my title is now complete. I can change the duration of this currently we'll notice here it is three seconds long if I want this to be a bit longer, I can right click on the image in my storyboard and I can set the duration. Um, let's say we want it for two seconds. Here you can even set it manually. I'm going to go for two seconds and I say change and now you will notice it is two seconds in length. Okay, the next thing I want to do is to add my video and I'm going to take my video. This was shot on a cell phone and I add it after my title. Now if I go to the beginning and I press play you will see there is my three it seconds. Is a problem. Secondly title and then my video starts. But I don't want this whole video I just want sections of it. I now have the option to do a couple of things with this video. You first of all select a video in your storyboard and you can either trim it, trimming by trimming it you can move the cursor to where you want the video to start and finish you will see the original video was 2 minutes and 42 seconds I want to slice down and only use a section this section here for instance um, and I click done now if I play back my video you will see the total duration is 11 seconds and 73 frames. Uh, as I was explaining, um. okay. 
The other thing I can do with my video is I can split it into sections. Let's say I made some mistakes during my recording and I would like to cut out those mistakes. I select my video and I click split. By splitting the video I can give it a point where I want to cut the video into, click done and now you will notice on your storyboard timeline you have got two different videos. You can carry on cutting these as necessary and then if you want to delete sections you just select those sections and click delete on your keyboard or click delete the dustbin over here and that will remove that video. Once I am done with the video let's add an end slide here just to complete it. Okay once I am happy with this I can preview the video by taking it back to the start pressing play. Um, I first came across the Okay, I first came across the, 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 the flip the class. And there I've got my basic video. Now I can export it by clicking finish video at the top right hand side. By clicking finish video I've got these options. Generally you would want to use the highest option which is 1080p but as we are stuck at home at the moment and our internet connections are not that fast you can go for a 720p which is still high definition or if you've got a slower connection at home you can even go as low as 540 which will give you the smallest size of video that you can upload quickly just take note that this is going to reduce the quality of your video so depending on the material that will be a very decisive factor decide on where you want to save a video I'm going to save it on my desktop you can change your name but we've already named it when we started and I hit export this video is now exporting to my desktop if I close the editor you will notice here on my desktop there it is topic one that video is now ready to be uploaded onto the LMS or wherever you want to upload it to I hope this video helps you. Feel free to contact me, drop me an email. I am available on email and I will help you as needed.